Veterans often carry with them stories and trauma they never speak up. Well, Denver 7's Colette Bordelon shares a story of a local veteran who wishes a soldier he served with gets the honor he deserves. I looked out the window and watched the old man teeter up to my front door. These are words from an essay Noah Hicks yeah, wrote yeah, not too long ago. It was a Veterans Day project. About a story he first heard in fifth grade. Annoyed with another homework assignment, I expected him to answer my questions quickly and be done. The veteran he picked was Maury Serrata. Having him answer these questions, it felt like really forced at first. Interviewing someone can feel a bit strange sometimes until they open up. Suddenly I wasn't bored. The thought of listening to first-hand war stories was exciting. But Hicks had no idea what a man he'd known most of his life. Yeah, we live right there. What his neighbor wanted to share about his Bronze Star Medal. It was the biggest regret of his life that he got this Bronze Star. Serrata served in the Korean War and told Hicks he was in charge of moving ammo across a river during a flash flood. And I needed one person to stand in the middle to pass ammo across. When he asked for a volunteer, everyone looked at each other, but no one stepped forward until the only African-American soldier in the regiment valiantly stepped forward. So he was basically just risking his life standing in the middle of the river. Hicks says the veteran teared up when telling his story. I never gave the man any recognition because he was African-American, he explained. I could have said something, I could have given this man a commendation, but I didn't. A story his own son, the Bronze Star presentation, had never heard. He might not have told us or told anyone ever. It's a story of prejudice that needs to be told and, and looked back upon that the way things were, not the way they should be. Bob's dad, who passed away eight months ago, chose to tell a child who's now on his own mission. Getting this story out there could hopefully help us find the man who is not commended for his actions in the river. Because this essay was never about a grade. It was about trying to right a wrong. To him, his Bronze Star, theoretically his most prestigious award, was a symbol of both pride in having carried out an important mission, yet shame knowing he didn't honor the man who was imperative to the mission's success. And the words on the last page of the paper are far from where this story ends. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And Hicks's goal is to try to find the man who was not recognized for his heroic actions. He's hoping by some stroke of luck, this story reaches any relatives or friends who may know who he was. You can read more of this story on the DenverChannel.com.